Hey, I started with phase one with capture one because at the time I just wasn't getting the results from my Canon camera that I was using and was put onto Capture One, processed some files that were turning out really ordinarily in uh, Photoshop and was blown away with the quality. And I liked the, the fact that the Phase One camera was a system as opposed to uh, like a closed loop type of solution. So down the track I had envisaged getting into technical cameras and so forth, which was going to be a little bit more difficult with other brands. But the big thing for me was at the time there was no other medium format camera that was able to do long exposures and I got in on a P45 Plus and I bought that purely because it was able to do long exposures. Even though I bought the Phase 1 outfit for my commercial work, uh, I have a, a real love of long exposure fine art landscape so that facility was really important to me. Phase 1 are certainly innovators when it comes to photography, um, particularly in the medium format arena. And traditionally with long exposures, I'd have to use a lot of filters, ND filters and so forth. But in the, in the new generation IQ back, the IQ4, they've brought out exposure averaging, which is just fantastic because I can do long exposures without filtration. But more importantly, I don't have to wait for a black calibration like I used to have to wait for when using filters. So I can travel lighter, get the shot quicker and move away with the results. And what I've discovered that in that process the files are virtually noise free because the exposure averaging is actually cleaning out the noise as well so 10 out of 10 to phase one for coming up with that system I don't think there is a system on the market that can match that technology. I'm traditionally trained in photography, uh, schooled in photography, went to RIT in upstate New York, Rochester New York where Kodak you know existed at one time. So I've got a formal background in photography, learning, starting with film and then transitioning into digital. I came about in that good time of year. Then uh, moved to New York City, worked in the photo industry, got abused a lot, uh, and then decided that maybe I didn't want to be in that world in New York City. Found my way into a few tech studios and uh, eventually got hired by Phase One. Worked my way up the ranks at Phase One and now I'm the head of product management for the uh, hardware division. So I get to make the camera systems with the uh, amazing R&D team. It's a bit like being a translator. You know, a lot of times a request from a photographer is for a specific feature, but what they're really saying is I need to solve this problem. So then we get to find new creative ways to solve that problem as opposed to just uh, doing what everybody else is doing. Most of my day is spent uh, behind the computer, just uh, breaking things down, reading a lot of technical specifications, uh, reading actually a lot of what the industry is talking about in forums and what other camera manufacturers are coming out with, you know. Uh, and then talking to photographers to figure out, you know, what, uh, what it is they need, what it is uh, they're excited about seeing on the horizon, and just trying to meet expectations, exceed expectations. If I meet them, great. If I exceed them, even better. It starts with the XF maintaining a, a modular uh, design, right? So the XF camera system is still a, a modular open platform camera system. Digital back plus camera body plus lenses. Uh, and we have to think of it in those terms of separate components developing for each component so that when you marry them together they make a, a system. So they're, they're good in their own, uh, on their own account, but then when you marry them together it's, uh, you know, the best, of, it's like transformers. Right, you get the best of both worlds when you marry everything together. So we start there with the XF and then the XT was really a development of the, uh, the X shutter first and foremost. Making it a replacement for the Copal shutter, kind of a one-to-one -one replacement. That was, you know, one big project. But then it's how do we take that shutter and how do we marry that to an IQ4 uh, in the most efficient and intelligent way so that we can set it up for growth. And then how do we maintain uh, that kind of independent workflow on an XF and then on an XT. So we really got to, for the first time I think in Phase 1's uh, long history, we got to really split uh, our mindset. We have a dedicated studio camera now with the XF and then we have a dedicated field camera with the XT. The key uh, considerations when we develop this you can say image quality, image quality, and image quality. Those are always what we say are our top three priorities at phase one. 
but really if we put that aside as number one, we're always going to champion image quality. Uh, that comes down to the precision and the design of the system. Then we also have the open platform philosophy, where we want to make sure that this is a system that can play nice with other components, other lenses, uh, and then we want a system that can grow. So developing a system from scratch, but making sure that it's not just a flash in the pan product. It's not just something we're going to develop once uh, and then move on to the next project. It's going to be that camera system that we develop for, that we build for, and we can continue to grow, expand, and develop for that existing platform. Uh, really, it's the features of the camera system, what application those are designed for. The camera system itself isn't de designed just for landscape photography. There's a lot of features in the camera system that make it applicable to landscape photography, uh, but it's the features inside the IQ4 that really relate right now to landscape photography. But that, of course, is, uh, is built to grow, built to expand. So this isn't just a camera system for professionals. This is a camera system for everyone, really, that uh, really champions photography and really wants the best quality. So building a camera system of the, the most precision components, uh, but making it accessible to everyone, no matter what your education level in photography is, um, that's really who this is for, that person that really wants the best of the best. It makes it a, a bit more uh, attainable, makes it a bit more enjoyable, makes it so they don't need to have a degree in uh, technical photography in order to use this camera system. And that's really now uh, the things that we built in here are for landscape photographers. But this system being built to, to grow is for anyone that's, uh, that's really in love with photography and has that deep passion for photography. So any discipline and we'll be able to build the tools, build the features, build the accessories to, to make it applicable for whatever people want.